Greetings, stranger, and welcome. I am Hellswake, and this is how to install Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction on Windows 10 in 2018. There are likely various ways to accomplish a proper installation of Diablo 2, but this is the way that works for me, and I hope it also works for you. If you need to jump ahead to any particular step, all of the detailed instructions are written in the description along with their respective timestamps. Alright, now let's get into it. The first step is to ensure that you do not have a current installation of Diablo 2 on your PC since this could mess up any further installations you wish to make. This is easily accomplished by going to the Start menu, Settings, Apps, and searching for Diablo 2. If it comes up, you'll just uninstall it. And it also helps to ensure that the destination folder which you wish to install Diablo 2 into is deleted. Alright, the second step is pretty straightforward. All we need to do is get the Diablo 2 and Lord of Destruction installation files. The latest downloads for these can be found on the Battle.net website. From the account settings page, you go into Games and Codes, Download Clients, Classic Games, and from here you can get the clients for either the Windows or Mac versions of both Diablo 2 and Lord of Destruction. The current version of the Battle.net provided clients will install Diablo 2 version 1.14, and if you want to play on Battle.net or just regular single player on the latest version, that will be just fine. However, if you plan on playing on a private server or with some sort of modifications, you will likely need an older version of the installer files. I happen to have installer version files 1.12 and have shared them online where you can download them. Link is located in the description. The Battle.net downloader clients, once they are ready, you can run them to download the actual installation files, first for Diablo 2 and then for Lord of Destruction. It's going to ask you where to save them, I'm just going to put them on my desktop for now. And it's time to let these things download. When the download finishes, it'll open the installer. I'll just exit that for now until we're done with both. Yay! And for the next step, it's as easy as running the two files that we just downloaded. The Diablo 2 installer first. And we're going to need our CD key. If you're going to play on a Battle.net, I do recommend that you get a 26-digit official CD key from the Battle.net website. If you have it registered to your account, you'll be able to find it in your account settings under Summary. And you go down and click on Diablo 2. We'll take you to a page that has your game key on it. Just copy-paste that into the box, and then we'll be able to select the location where we can install the game. I'm just going to put it in the games folder, which is on the drive that I use for my games. And we're going to install that. Once that's done, we're just going to do the exact same thing for Lord of Destruction. Start up the installer for Lord of Destruction. Pop in our information and our CD key, which you find the same way you did the last one. And we're going to install that. Alright, and I'm going to save this folder for later, in case I need to install it again, but we don't need that for now. We have our shortcut here, and now, once the game is installed, we're going to need to set the compatibility modes. And I will go to my Diablo 2 installation folder, Diablo 2 EXE, Properties, Compatibility tab, and we're going to want to make sure this is checked with Windows XP Service Pack 3. And we also want to make sure that Run This Program as an Administrator is also checked. And now is when I would also say, if you're using a version of Diablo 2 older than 
because it has a different layout of files here. We would want to do the same thing to d2vidtest.exe and then run the d2vidtest.exe, allow the test to run, and it's finally select a direct 3D. It's probably what you're going to want to want to do there. Now, once that's done, we're going to want to make our shortcut. Personally, I like to have my shortcut on my start menu, so I'll go pin it to the start where I want it to. Go to the file location, right click on that shortcut, go to properties, add minus W, which will be windowed mode, and if you want to play online solely, you can add the skip to bnet with the dash skip to bnet there, apply, and now we will finally open the game. To download the latest patch, which should look something like that. Now the game will open, and I can finally log on and play some Diablo 2. Oh, yeah, and don't forget you can double click to maximize your screen there, it's kind of nice. For the basic setup. Alright, this concludes the how to install Diablo 2 on Windows 10 in 2018 little setup guide. I hope you found it helpful and stay tuned for more Diablo 2 tips. Thanks for watching.